Hello, 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 and happy birthday and happy new moon in Taurus to all of my Taurians. Yes, Taurus, let's get right into your general reading. I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart. This is your midweek Wednesday video, and I am Queen Amunra. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Taurus, let's see what your cards have to say. Hopefully you all are still just kind of planting your seeds of intention during this rest phase where you are, um, okay, nice. All right, all righty now. Very nice. Okay, all right. All right, nice, okay. <laughs> all right, Taurus, okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm, I'm happy, happy, happy for somebody. Somebody finally, 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 Taurus, I'm loving this for you. Okay, here we have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Knight of Swords, right? Somebody is finally taking the blindfolds off and looking at things with your third eye. If you're walking around just trying to see things with just your two natural eyes, it's never really going to make sense to you. Like, Somebody, you could be in a relationship with the person who is um, has a different sexual preference, or a person who is um, who is. Um, let's see where something is. Somebody, it could be like it could be in your face, but because you're looking for certain signs, you're gonna have to go through being in this bondage in this where you feel powerless almost like you feel slow or like you you feel like your thought process is delayed like something is wrong with you if you stay in a situation because you won't look at it with your third eye you won't go outside and get some grounding you won't sit down and meditate you won't pay attention to something i have been telling you all from the very beginning the energy of money is very 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 attracted to earth signs because that's how you enjoy the earth family and money and you see in this card right here big money and family right that's what keeps you grounded that's what keeps you enjoying the earth right but if you don't take the blindfolds off and see okay let me give you an example um over this period of time, there's a, there's a, I won't say who the person's name is. There's a Taurus who was going up against a family and they lost really, really big. And it, I'm sure it was humiliating. I'm sure it was embarrassing because a lot of things came out during discovery that neither side wanted to come out, but the other side won big time, right? Against a Taurus, right? And so I've been mentioning it in my reading, Taurus, don't let stubbornness get in your way. Don't let certain things you may look at a you may look at a certain other group of people and figure I want to be connected to that that group of people because maybe that's where the line is where that's going to help me. Um, in other words, you don't need to latch on to anybody else's money or somebody else's success in order for you to be successful, Taurus. And I'm just say this real short because. You don't really know because because your earth signs and you got to see things with your natural eyes. Some of you all end up getting burned. Remember that bull. I'm not budging until some fire is up under me or some something comes along with a sword and cuts me like a knife or like a sword in this case and really, really hurts you before I got to move on. Right. But in hindsight, you looking back and you're like, wow. The Taurus I am today would have never gone for that, right? Sometimes it is your, regarding this celebrity case, I already knew that the Taurus was going to lose. And as much as I wanted the Taurus to win, I could already see beyond probably what they could see. They may have been like, no, I'm not budging. Because people around them were like, oh, you're going to get all of this money. You're going to get this. You're going to get that. And I was like, they're going to lose. They're going to lose big time. It's going to be humiliating for them because they, because certain things I could see, I just put it that way, right? I need you all to start seeing things, not in hindsight where you're devastated and sitting somewhere where you're overthinking it, ruminating over some things. Let me give you an example. When it comes to money and when it comes to family, some of you all have people around you who you don't even realize because you're looking at this is my mom, this is my dad, these are my adult kids, these are um, these are friends I've had in my life for years. They already see your worth. 
They like hanging out with you because they know money is attracted to you. You just don't physically see it yet. So you don't see, you don't see their motives. You just think that they're just there because they just want to be supportive of you. But they already see this on you. They already see this. They already see this, right? Now, and of course, there. So your your challenge is going to be able is being able to discern whether. And these are usually people around you who financially have less than you. We're not talking about somebody who you're connected with, who is really loyal to you, who already is making more money than you are, right? And already that's committed to you. They, Because those people will see the people around you and go like, uh-uh, Taurus, you need to get rid of some of those people because you can't see what they're doing. You're, no, no, no. I've, I've been friends with them for 20, 30 years. I've been knowing them for a long. They would never do. They've always been there for me. Taurus, it's this simple for you guys. If you're hanging around with people who are making less money than you all are, and of course there's some, there's some, some, you know, you can make some adjustments with this. So I don't want you to take this as law. If you are out there with people who are making less money than you are, because money is very attractive, the energy of money is very attractive to you. Those people already know their value. They're not gonna waste a whole lot of time. They're like, listen, I, I got you, you, I, I got business ideas I'm coming up with. I don't have time to sit around and gossip and talk about people. I'm talking about ideas. That's a difference. Now, when you step back from a situation and stop overthinking it, because right now during this rest phase, somebody is still thinking, thinking, thinking that how can I get back at this person? Did I just love? You don't need to overthink this. Get as far away from it as possible. Take the blindfolds off. Get as far away from the situation as possible. Somebody could be getting away from a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but get as far away from it emotionally as possible so that God can release this to you, your person and your wealth and your legacy. Right? And so with your legacy wealth, that means ideas that you're coming up with. This is where somebody's going to see their worth. I don't need to be connected to this person because of what they have. I can get this on my own. I have my own identity. I have my own worth, right? Yes. And I see your family being, and I, when I say family, that means if you're, if you're married to somebody, I see things going a lot smoother and a lot happier. But if you're sitting around, and again, I don't like to toss signs out there because somebody say, oh yeah, I don't get along with Gemini. Oh yeah, I don't get along with Aquarius. Oh yeah, I don't get along with Libra. Okay, abandon that. Get that out of your head because we are ruled by planets, not by, our zodiac sign are ruled by planets. You have to take it on a case by case basis. There may be some Aquarius that you never got along, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra that you never got along with because they're in your family or whatever, or you were married to the person or work for the person or whatever. Do you need? You may need another Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra where you're best friends with that person because now your energy is balanced out. You see, they're driving ambition and they got money. They have close relationship and ties with their family. You have close. You all just understand each other, right? There may be some things about them that says, well, I would never date that person, but they're cool to hang out with. They're, you know, one of my best friends, great friends. But would I, can I see myself in a long-term romantic relationship? No, nah, because this is what I like and this is what they like. Hey, we can agree to disagree, but we're, we're perfect the way that we are this way, right? You don't need to overthink it. If a relationship has ended, you shouldn't be looking back. Take the blindfolds off and accept the fact that, okay, it's, I need to move on. This is self-sabotage. Yeah. I, I see that this particular person is trying to appeal the case. And I'm like, like I said, a Taurus lost big time. I'm sure she was humiliated. That's not something I would even appeal. I would, it's not like you, you, know, you accepted a loss or defeat. This is where you're going to say, no, I see the value of myself. They may be wealthy, but I have it in me. The energy of money is attracted to me just like it is to them. Let me go out here and make my own money and show them I don't need a dime of your money in order for me to be wealthy. I don't need to get money off of your backs, right? So that was the message that that source had to send to that particular Taurus. Again, I don't need to name any names to say you have the earning ability just like they do. 
right? You don't even have to be connected to them. Matter of fact, if you wanted to, you could earn more. Again, legacy wealth. What is it that you have inside of you? How many zeros have you connected to your to your energy, right? How many zeros? And we know that what zero means. Go watch the video on sun, Sunday's video for the number zero so you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, three of pentacles. Perfect alignment is here for you to get your money. See, what a lot of people don't understand is that somebody may have said something to you. Somebody may have said something to you that really didn't feel good or something may have happened to you that didn't feel good. And somebody is sitting around overthinking a hurtful comment versus really hearing the message with your spiritual ears. Right? Somebody was still hurt by the delivery of the comment versus what reading between the lines. You have it in you just like they have it in them to be wealthy and to have a solid, health, happy, healthy family. Yes, you do. It's hard for some earth signs to sever ties with certain family members because, again, don't want to see. I do not control my mind. I am an observer of my mind and my thoughts. Yes. And when you are tempted to control your mind, stand back and realize that the task is impossible to deal with. Even the most disciplined mind has a way of breaking out of its chains, right? So somebody may be really determined to, you know, come back at something like, I just can't break away from this. Again, you got to watch the energies that are around you and see what their motives are, Taurus. Like, really, if there are certain energies that's constantly just, just sprinkling negativity into your spirit while you're trying to end this rest phase, this is why you need to be by yourself. Be very careful about who, and, I, and if you're married, of course, I'm not saying be by yourself, but take some quality time, you know, um, by yourself. And if you're in a relationship with the person, let the person know, hey, like, I just need some downtime to kind of sort of rethink and recharge that kind of thing. So you can talk to source. But again, during this time, this rest phase time until the eighth of the month, because that starts a new phase and at least until the eighth of the month, let me recharge and reset and get myself, get my mind right. I don't have to say anything bad about anybody because I already have it in, within me. There's a lot of money trying to come your way, a lot of money trying to come your way. So when you look back on certain people, I'm telling you, some of the people that you thought were your enemy, God was using them to speak life into you. Believe it or not, somebody's not going to see it until one day, all of a sudden, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Oh my God. Maybe your ego or your pride will get in the way and say, but they did this to me. But it was something that somebody said to you that may have cut you like a knife. That they may have cut you like a knife that was really trying to show you you already have it with this within you. But I'm not hanging around with you. I'll leave you until you so that you could see it. I'm not hanging around this. Right? So that's not for you to go back to that person once you realize they were actually trying to help you instead of hurt you. It's more of less. Move on. They moved on. You move on and go out and get your stuff. But be still and let source bless you. Let source give you some answers to how you create your legacy and meet your person so you all are creating legacy together. Let people think what they want to think. Let people say what they want to say. We have no control over people's comments and their emotions and how they feel and all that other stuff. Let's see what else we have here in these cards. Nice, nice, nice. So I do see somebody... I see somebody finally taking the blindfolds off, getting as far away from a situation and hitting a reset button and saying, hey, I know my worth. Let me go out here and make my money and let me build my own family. That's what I'm seeing. You know how people get into a big argument and somebody goes, oh, that's how you really feel. Oh, my God. you Oh, it's OK. So now I know I know. how." But the person been trying to tell you the whole way along. You didn't you didn't hear it until it cut like a light a knife or it torched you like a blowtorch right that's when you heard it but like 
the person had to come out and say it. Like, but they've been showing you sign after sign after sign. Here we have the five of wands. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Some of y'all have some people around you that's just really just dragging you down with their generational curse. And it could be people in your, I'm seeing people in your own family dragging you down. That's why you couldn't, you weren't able to see when somebody outside of your family, it seemed like they were burning you because there's somebody around you. There's somebody around you that's just creating all kinds of, open your third eye, open your third eye, Taurus, please. Because I want, I want to see you all get this legacy wealth. I want you and your families to prosper and the energy of money just flowing and you and your family happy. Sometimes it means cutting off a parent. Sometimes it means cutting off, you know, adult kids. I know people don't want to hear this, but that's what I'm seeing. So that there's, there are people out in the world who have been telling you certain things and showing you certain things. Like you got some people around you that you just, come on now. And you can either play victim or you can listen with your spiritual ears. That's the whole purpose, purpose of you all being earth signs. Go outside and do some grounding. Talk to God. Say, God, okay, what is it that I am not seeing? Please help me. Like, seriously, please help me. I don't want to be the victim in all of this. The part of it is that we all have to, um, looking at your cards here, and I'm seeing this perfect synergy when it is perfect alignment with your money. The number three is really about you positively moving forward, taking some things from your past and positively moving forward, being in a posture of gratitude, not saying anything negative, you know, low vibrating that, that make you sound hurt. You don't need to say anything about anything negative about a person Just say, okay, you know what? I learned my lesson now in hindsight. I see some things I didn't want to see before, but be bold and make the first move. Make the first move to emotionally get away from some things that have hurt you in the past that's going to help you improve your life. That is what I have for you. I'm loving these cards, but it's time for you to just be in receiving mode of your legacy wealth. And like I said, if this perfect alignment with your money, come on now. <laughs> like if you've been stubborn and staying stuck, overthinking somebody who may have said something that was hurtful to your ego, but it could have been the truth. You got to be able to discern between people who may have said something, their action, even if they didn't say anything, their action was like, I'm out. I mean, I'll keep telling, trying to tell you there's some family members around you that's, that's causing issues in our relationship. There's some friends of yours that you should have cut off a long time ago. You're like, no, but they need me as a friend and I need to be here for them. X, Y. And it's destroying your other relationships, including your relationship with money. And you don't listen. I don't know what to tell you. I don't really know what else to tell you, but this five of wands lets me know this generational thing goes deep, 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 deep. It goes deep. Y'all got some people around you that's just hanging on for what they can get from you, Taurus. And again, you got to know the difference between the two. And the only person that can really tell you that and really show you is God. You can ask God to show you in a dream. You know, the names that pop up in you. Why, is, why all of a sudden am I thinking about this name, God? Tell me why I'm thinking about this name. Ask. God will show you in a video. If God can speak through a donkey, when y'all and most people know those scriptures, right? If God can speak through you through a donkey, like you learn in in the Bible, which is a whole nother story. But believe that God can speak to you through any, you know, any form. So pay attention to all the signs around you. Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. And I'll, again, happy birthday to each and every one of you all. I see you in a couple of days. Bye.